<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Rhonda. How you guys doing this evening? Um, I first of all, well, first of all, want to thank all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys for joining my family. Thank you for um tuning in with me and like you know just just sticking this thing out with me to my old subscribers um i really appreciate y'all i want to let my new subscribers know that like if i'm i'm praying and I'm, I'm i'm hoping and i'm praying and i'm seriously understanding that if you choose to look at any of my videos or listen to any of my videos that you will actually get something out of that video, um, something relatable, something that resonates, um, because only the most high can send you to whatever video you need to go to, to get whatever answer you may be looking for, if that makes sense. But either way, I appreciate you, uh, you know, coming in here and doing this thing with me, you know, because like I always tell y'all, it's not easy, <laughs> right, it's not easy, um, I am back with this video because I know I had put out a video the other day concerning, uh, you know, the the beginnings of, of, of energy harvesting, okay, and how the Freemasons were pretty much the ones who understood how to e extract energy, and they've been doing this a long time, bef you know, before it got out, you know, really, like, hit the public, um, but how they built America, built pretty much the entire world um, with extracting energy from chosen beings, right? And um, using it and applying it to run the world, basically. Um, these one percenters is what we're going to call them, the one percenters. They learn how they learn this esoteric knowledge um, through uh, Egyptian um, text. They learned this knowledge. Um, the Egyptians learned it from the fallen. I mean, it, it like I said in one of my videos before, the rabbit hole goes extremely deep. Um, and it's real, gosh, it's real, yeah, it's really real, and now it's to the point where you got regular individuals who have picked up the line of study of Freemasons, who have begun to energy harvest, um, individuals, people, uh, uh, uh ex-boyfriends, boyfriends, ex-girlfriends, women's ex-wives, sacrificing spouses, sacrificing children, sacrificing whomever they can sacrifice, whomever is not protected by the divine, whomever is willing to be sacrificed, um, sacrificing them for money, fame, power, clout, okay? There is... What it is, is it has gotten out of hand to the point where spiritual court is always full. Unless, you know, it, listen, like I said, spiritual court is, is always rolling, always going on. Ancestors have awakened. You know what I'm saying? Ancestors have awakened. The um, angels are busier than ever because of the because of the the um, the mass 
not this knowledge that then got out to the public. You know, this is something that belong. This type of knowledge belonged to secret societies. This type of knowledge belonged to the um, the Q, the like the Q dogs, like sororities and things. These are the type of types of knowledges. This this is the type of thing that these sororities and secret societies study, go into. They execute these these um different these different uh tactics to cipher an energy, harvest energy, sacrifice other people to gain money, clout, power, and fame. This is what they do. You got small business owners who's who's so really stupid because they don't know really how the thing works. They're just going off of what somebody else told them to do, which reminds me, this is what I picked up on. That a karmic, a karmic, uh, divine masculine, not divine, I'm sorry, a karmic masculine actually, and his karmic partner, um, apparently tried to sacrifice a divine feminine or tried to sacrifice, yeah, tried to sacrifice a divine feminine for uh clout for popularity for fame for um notoriety for money for um you know just to be you know uh recognized as somebody important but um and it's it, apparently This happened uh, before the 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 karmic masculine um, apparently uh, tried to sacrifice this divine feminine before, and he siphoned. She, I guess, she went. She spent time with him. She he went to. um, Well, I guess he. Well, I'm not saying I guess. I know he siphoned some of her energy to, you know, to 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 gain something from somewhere else or somebody else. He siphoned some of her energy and used it to um, get something, and then with it then um him and he didn't really know too much about this it was his karmic partner who is the absolute gold digger but karmic partner is the one who introduced him into learning and knowing how to ex- ex- extract energy from another person and applying it to his his, his on life and so um he tried it on he went back like he tried to get back into this divine feminine's energy again um he's obviously some type of narcissist he um he waited for like three four months five months six months somewhere around there he waited a while before he went back, because it whatever energy he siphoned from her before it lasted him, you know, a few some months, some long months, and apparently he uh, needed more energy, so he went back. Now this divine feminine that he siphoned the energy from the first time, she like moved away from him. She hasn't spoken to him. She doesn't. She doesn't talk to him. She doesn't think about him. But what did he? What he didn't realize was that divine feminine nine thirty three on my time and two thirty one on my on my clock. That divine feminine has grown and ascended into who she is supposed. You know who she's supposed to be, or you know she has pretty much stepped into her path and under she's in more of understanding of who she is and what she's supposed to be doing here right so um 
he apparently goes back to divine feminine just by memory of her energy by the memory of it he goes back to try to siphon energy again he gets blocked he gets blocked he's blocked from her energy he's blocked from communication any communication spiritually or mentally cord is cut from this person this karmic masculine um now this divine feminine is Claire Audient and she like when he came she 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 felt someone he like trying to tug you know what I'm saying she felt someone trying to tug and she immediately blocked it out you know what I mean she immediately put put that on pause blocked it out and she was trying to figure out who in the world she knew who it was she found out who it was and spirit gave divine feminine a rundown of you know he siphoned energy before he's trying to come back in and grab some more and you've blocked him he's been blocked and it's not how whenever someone tries to come and siphon energy from you it's not you sh don't react but you should respond don't react to the actions because that's a, a, a good way for them to grab whatever energy that they can, whether it's out of pain, hurt, anger, or sadness, or whatever. Don't react to them trying to get energy from you. Just respond. And you can respond with a good prayer, or a word of power, or, you know, a block. You can respond. You know, because what it is, is to me, people that are sitting up here, literally, you're, you're ciphering energy from individuals and you doing this because why you don't have any or what, like what, what is the problem and why are you ciphering energy? Apparently your energy, their energy is what I'm understanding. Their energy isn't good enough. To offer anyone. Their energy is dark. Nasty. Um, their energy is. Um, polluted. And don't nobody want that. None but scavengers. Savages. You know what I'm saying? Their energy. The, the people that do this kind of thing. They actually get a kick out of, not even get a kick out of it, but they do get a kick out of it, of um, ciphering someone's energy or trying to cipher in a divine being's light. Those people that do that, these, these people are full of darkness. They're full of um, wretchedness. Their energies no is no their energy is no good their energy isn't good enough to offer the universe their energy isn't good enough to you know what i'm saying it's not good it's just not good enough their energy is whack wreck wrecked wretched rancid these people are they're they're just no good so they have it's like they have to Siphon energy from light beings, light workers, and people with good energy to to live, to survive. Now, you know, and then what makes it so bad too is they're given the opportunity to clean their energy. But these are people who don't want to clean their energy, who are who are happy with being ugh, absolute dark messes. They live in darkness. They, they thrive on darkness. You know, they stink. <laughs> they stink. And the only reason why they stink is because that darkness that's on them, 
they think because they have uh, entities attached to them. That's the demons. When you smell piss, shit, um, when you smell uh, just nasty, these when people have nasty odors like that, and they wash their ass every day. Those are the demonic entities that are attached to them. When they stink like that, those are demonic entities attached. That's what you're smelling. You're smelling the 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 rancid um, nature of a part of this person who lives in darkness, who thrives on darkness. Like, but so back to the story. <laughs> Back to the thing. I had to write this down when I got this. Um, and so this karmic masculine, um, pretty much he failed in trying to siphon energy from this divine feminine. He failed the task. Um, he sent as much... Um, he, he projected... He projected so much hatred and evil eye towards this divine feminine that the universe, when divine feminine actually prayed and uh, called judgment on the situation, called judgment on the the um, the karmic masculine, and he ended up losing his clout and he got banned from the universe. He got banned. Like he can no longer call on the universe to help. He can't call anybody in the universe. No, he can't get any help anywhere from anybody. From all the all this nastiness that he's doing, that he tried to do to the divine feminine, what he was trying to do, he got caught pretty much. Um, and his the karmic partner or girlfriend of this karmic masculine was a person was the person who introduced him into doing these types of things because she's apparently a part of some type of secret society or some type of sorority so they get taught these esoteric ways and they they actually try to execute these types of things for money, clout, fame, fortune, and things like that. And um, this karmic partner, this karmic female, um, even came to the divine feminine and tried to, you know, figure out why, whatever, that karmic masculine was doing wasn't working and divine divine feminine picked up on the karmic female and what divine feminine got from that karmic female is the fact that the karmic female um spirit told divine feminine that the karmic female is a person this person that she picked up on is without form and meaning, if you're without form, that means you're chaotic. That means you have no sound. Um, there's nothing solid about you. You being without form means you're like kind of all over the place. Um, so this was where it told, told Divine Feminine about this karmic female. And that she's a person without form. Uh, she is a chaotic individual, but she has a conscience, okay? And when, when Spirit said that she has a conscience, um, that told me that um, the person, this person is, this person chaos, this uh, karmic female's chaos has them all over the place. This uh, karmic, female will go wherever the wind blows okay you know she she go for anything she do anything to get money fame fortune clout whatever she will do whatever it takes um and two that she is well aware of what what she's doing like she knows 
that she's going in to cipher energy from an individual and trying to send that person into some type of sadness or depression or something. But this she this is what she's doing. This is and she the thing about it is that she knows um that she's doing this. She has a very destructive nature and is aware of the result of the victims that they cause any of this melee to. Um and she knows the possible outcomes of what can happen to the person that they cipher energy from. Like she, she's in absolutely aware of what can happen. Two forty three on my time on my clock. Twenty fifty on my timer when I looked at it. Um. She's. So, and it brought me back to whenever um, Yeshua was on the cross and he asked the Most High. He said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. But we are in a time, in a place when the Spirit told me that she's aware of what she's doing, the outcome and the results of, the, of her victims. You can't say that they don't know what they're doing anymore. They can't sit up here and say, I forgot. They can't sit up here and say, oh, I didn't know that that would happen. You can't say that because you did know. You you knew what you were doing when you was whipping up the whipping up the uh, potion. You knew what you was doing when you poured the the little the white the, the white potion on I mean the white uh substance on somebody's food or put it in a drink. You knew that it would poison them. So you knew what you were doing. Nobody can use that excuse anymore. I was 22 11 on my timer, 2.44 on my clock. No one can use that I didn't know excuse any longer. Because it's going to be thrown out. Like I said, spiritual court is super busy. And whenever you get, you got a lot of, you got a lot of different individuals. Like I told you, collective, when, you know, when you're being attacked or being, you know, somebody trying to drag you or whatever the case, call judgment. Once you call judgment, the attacks have to stop. People will literally be arrested. You're going to either jail or hell. Which one you want? Jail or hell. Maybe even both. Okay. But. You know, once you call the judgment on a person and they get to talking about, oh, I didn't know you're lying. Archangel Metatron recording angels run that back. They knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. And, and that's this is what. This is what we're facing right now. Like, this is what we're having to um, go through. You know, you got, um, you know, like, heaven has a, a host of, 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 of investigators. You know, because people search and seek out the truth. If you're seeking out the truth, and people down here, like they don't, they don't, they don't think fat meat is greasy until they're being dragged in spiritual court, until they're being dragged to hell. Let me tell you something. I had literally had a vision that someone, I was like walking, walking, minding my business, and someone was on the side of me. Like poking at me. I didn't feel anything. I didn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, but they were poking at me like they were trying to get something out of me. And so they were poking, poking, poking. And next thing you know, an angel stepped out and grabbed the person that was poking me and held him just like this. That motherfucker was rambling. <laughs> he was doing all this, this, this. But that angel sitting there like, man, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Angel wasn't budging. Like, he wasn't moving. But this person 
that was poking me, trying to poke me, rather. I didn't feel nothing. Like I said, I didn't feel nothing or nothing. But he was trying to poke me. This angel had this nigga in the chokehold, like, bruh, what are you doing? And I just kept walking, but I looked, and he was dangling off of his feet. So, Angel, you know, we do have, we do have protective angels. We do have people protecting us from the nonsense, like, like, like what this karmic masculine tried to do. See, he thought that what he was going to go in and do, and he, he thought that he would get away with it, like he did before. But he had a rude awakening this time. There's none of that is happening. Okay? You've had your chance, you dirty bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you're dirty. You're fucking disgusting. You know? People people so happy that like 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 y'all yeah, one time somebody gonna say to me, um, Where's your dark matter? Girl, don't nobody want that shit? The fuck is you talking about? Don't nobody want no dark matter on them? Ew. Ew. Do you know what dark matter is? Dark matter is, is, is chaos. Dark matter is all over the place. Dark matter is I'll fall for anything you put in my face. That's what dark matter is. Dark matter is, dark matter is a, a, a non, not solid Dark matter is uh, 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 spread it out thinking. Okay? Dark matter is without form. And that's what was on the earth before the most high shined his light into the earth. The earth was without form, meaning there was chaos everywhere. Okay? There was chaos. There was no order. Okay? And then when the Most High came in and he he shined his light on down in there, he said, oh, they just down there doing whatever. Okay? And that's how the world was made. The world poured the wool over people's eyes. The world did everything in plain sight, but taught you how not to pay attention to it. That's chaos. That's deceit. Okay. And so this is what, this is what we're here for. Like we're here to wake up and help people recognize and realize that this stuff is really happening. Please understand. Some people who they some some of these uh demonic karmics are fine with however you know everything is going for them. They into the gorilla thing. They love it. They love being called animals and being um used and abused in any kind of form, in any kind of way. They okay with it. But it's not order. And it's not what's supposed to be. You got these uh the, these entities thinking that we're coming to change things, but you said yourself, as above is so below. Meaning there needs to be some order here. If you wanna survive, if you want if you if you wanna live on this if you want to continue to live here you need to put some order in your heart you need to find you some order you need to not be so chaotic okay stop being proud of wearing dark matter dark matter stinks it smells bad it's fucking rancid Okay, not trying to be, not trying to say that I'm better than anybody because I'm not. I don't think I'm better than anyone. But I, what I understand is better than what you understand, karmic. 
And all we're trying to do is bring order to the situation. Put some, get some, get some order behind the nonsense. Make it make sense. You always, y'all always saying, make it make sense. We're trying to, hello? (laughs) We're trying to make it make sense. Do you understand though? Do you understand the sense? (laughs) Do you understand it? Is what you need to ask yourself, like karmic. But yeah, so that's the download that I had got that this mother effer came back trying to siphon more energy from this divine feminine and he got blocked, he lost his clout, he got banned from the universe. He's not allowed to ask for any help. He won't get any help. He won't get he will fall into absolute nothingness. His um He's going to, he's losing his business. He's losing his business. He's losing every and anything that he's ever gained or had. He has, um, unserved karma that, that was not noticed. Apparently this, this divine feminine was smart to say, you know what? Look into his life. Look into his past life. Look into his, and that's, and that's another thing. People got hidden karma that they hadn't served out. They got hidden karma that they hadn't, you know, service. So, you know, people, people, listen, you need to watch yourself. Okay. So what it is, is he had hidden karma and divine feminine said, you know, she, Divine Feminine called judgment on the situation, which Divine Feminine has the right to do. Divine Feminine went to, uh, you know, told the universe, listen, this person is attacking me, blah, blah, blah. I need to find 3212 uh, on my clock when I looked at it, 254 on my timer. I mean, 254 on my clock, 12, uh, 32. It was 32, 12 on my time when I looked at it. But they, she, she, the divine feminine went in pretty much and was like, you know, she pretty much went in, pleaded her case. And she had every right to because this person was trying to siphon energy from her. And that's another thing. You need permission to do that. When people are ciphering energy from you, that's like them uh, putting out a contract that hasn't been authorized. But that's neither here nor there. We can talk about that later. <laughs> what it is, is the Van Feminine went in and said, you know what? I, she, she called judgment. She said, uh, look into his life and come to find out this person has unserved karma. So he's losing ever." everything he will have nothing not a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of yeah because apparently he's been doing some stuff behind the scenes for a while for a long time and he's basically he's been caught because he went and tried to take from a divine feminine, he went and tried to, um, divine feminine is Claire audience. So when the judgment came down, she, she can hear him like, oh, and then everybody, she could hear everybody talking about it. She got him. She restricted him. She got, she, she is, is over for him. Like she can hear everybody talking about this person that got banned from, asking questions of the universe or wishes or whatever got banned from everything is losing everything and lost his clout not that divine feminine felt like he deserved it but the universe felt like he deserved it the divine felt like he deserved it so they did what they had to do they did what was necessary so but, you know, like I was saying, you need to, you, people need to watch themselves because we're in a time where there is an ascension. People are, pe- people are waking up 
and 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 getting better into who they are. And of course, you're getting more and more individuals who want to um, put more on a um, put, try to you know they want to try to fight. They want to try to fight the universe. They want to try to fight divine feminine or divine masculine. But it's what they fail to realize. Is when you coming up against a divine one, a divine feminine, light worker, a divine masculine, whatever the case, earth angel, you're coming up against the most high. You're not coming up against that person. For we not uh, 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 fight against um, flesh and blood. We're fighting against principalities and principles and uh, like when. You're going up against the most. How were you trying to touch on a divine feminine or a divine masculine? The divine feminine, divine masculine, or the most has kin, bruh. These his people. These is his people. His kin. This is what I'm saying. Like, y'all better watch yourselves. Because I'm 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 hearing it. The most has highly involved, my dude. The most has highly involved with this. And he own it. He tailgating every, all of his kin. He tailgating them. This is what I'm hearing. He tailgate. Like he right there. He right there, okay? So, it's like, you better watch it. People need to start watching their steps. Watching what you say. And, 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 and watching how you move. Okay? Fine. <laughs> but, yeah. That's, you know, it's... It's to that point. 37.22 on my time when I looked at it, y'all. So, um, but, yeah. Ain't no, there is no way. It's three hours. It's the clock. There's no way you can sit up and say that you don't know anymore. You know. Yeshua used that. How much Yeshua? He used that excuse for y'all before. Meaning he gave y'all some type of chance or some type of, and y'all spent these last couple thousand, few thousand years, you know, doing what you're doing with the spell work and getting into um, abstracting energy, building clubs from the shit. <laughs> Building secret societies and building clubs, <laughs> building sororities and shit out of the out of the shit that you had no business doing and never even got the permission to do. You never even got the authorization to do these things. So it's just like, you know, all that shit is being torn down because there's no proper paperwork behind what you did or what you what you you are trying to do or what you have done, like. There is no proper paperwork. There's no authorizations. There's no permissions. So, um, like I said, this karmic masculine has, he's learning his lesson. He's going to learn uh, by the time the most high is done with this. And, um, and I was just brought on her to tell y'all, you know, what's up with that. So, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end this video. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Peace.